It's story time, guys. This video is going to be a combination of yesterday and today's activities because they just are too ridiculous not to share. Hey guys, I got a funny story to tell you. Yeah, I promised I wouldn't um, record from my car as much. And I know I did that yesterday, but I can't help it. I gotta tell you right now. <laughs> I went to get my hair did today, and I always love doing it. At 41, I have lots of gray hair, and um, I gotta get my hair cut about every four weeks to keep this cute cut going. Well, I got it scheduled for eight o'clock, so I don't like it for it to take up my whole day. And this process takes about an hour and a half, usually, maybe an hour. We're in there, she got me all foiled up, and I'll include a picture of me all foiled up in here. Um, getting ready to get this to wash this gray right out of my hair, and um, the little buzzer goes off on my dryer. I kept waiting for her to come in there and take my foils out, and I kept waiting on her. And finally, she walked in and she said, I've got bad news. The um, city was doing road work out in front of the business and busted up all that road outside there and cut the water off. And she said, and I saw them and I pulled up and I thought, you know, I don't know what they're doing there. And, but she walked out there and said, um, excuse me, did you mean to cut our water off? And he said, yeah. M-A-N. Yeah. And she said, well, need to shampoo a lady and I said this, she said this is a, a business why didn't y'all contact us if you were gonna cut off the water and he said we didn't think it was that big of a deal and she said we're a salon he said well we'll have it back on in about 30 minutes can't you wait and she said no I have chemicals on this lady's hair if we wait 30 minutes she won't have hair anymore I told her I said um the city will be buying me a wig. What that's doing with that light. Anyway. So he just kind of shrugged his shoulders like, mm -hmm. sorry. She came back in there and she said, well, I guess we're going to have to call the other hair salons in town. What is the sun? I love the sun, but golly. I don't know how to fix it. Okay, there we go. We drove around the city of Dyersburg and found a salon, sweet ladies, who would let us shampoo my hair out, shampoo these chemicals out of my hair. And then, so I'm riding around town with the cape and foils and wet head. It's freezing outside. And she shampooed me. I ran out there, back in her car, wet head. I mean, I love her. I know her, but I don't know her wanting to be riding around town with her. <laughs> we bonded today. <laughs> we pulled up. And the guy's just standing there looking at us like, huh, what y'all doing? She said, I have other customers coming in today. Is it going to be 30 minutes? He said, well, we'll try. I said, did they not call you? She said, no. Nobody called her, told her anything. So what normally takes an hour took me two hours today because we had to shampoo the chemicals out at some other crazy salon. Very sweet people, by the way. I say when you know it. All right. Here comes my son and my daddy. So, um, crisis averted. And we're about to go move my son back to college. See y'all later. This is my crazy face running all over Dyersburg. And then, here are the morons that took away the water and almost burnt my hair. Hi, guys. It is Thursday. And the first day that we teachers went back to our in-service days um, after winter break. And I'm going to give you a little heads up. This story is probably not the most ladylike story to tell, but I had to share it because um, as one of my administrators said to me after I told her, this would happen only to me. <laughs> I'm hoping it didn't happen to just me and that I'm just not a stinking moron. Anyway. So, I have, um, first of all, I'm skinny. See? I'm skinny. And I've had people say, why are you so skinny? I wish I was skinny as you. 
Well, not really because I'm this skinny because after I eat, it just rolls right through me. When you crap it all out before it can settle up on your hips and you're gonna be small. So what would you rather be, skinny or poop immediately after every meal? Well, frankly, I'd rather be um, chunky and be able to digest my food and chill out a while before um, running track and trying to get to the bathroom before you poop in your pants. Anyway, today I was at a school that is not my school. It's, our, it's in the same county, so all the countywide teachers meet at one school or the other. Um, this is before lunch, the first time. We're in a very quiet meeting. There is one bathroom with one stall. It's the faculty bathroom right outside this boardroom. And I had to sneak out during the meeting to go do my business. I did my business, got done, flushed the commode, and what happens? It starts, you know, the horror of all horrors, the water starts floating up to the top of the toilet. I'm like, oh dear God, oh dear God, please Jesus, please Jesus, don't let it overflow. Okay, so it stops just shy of spilling out over my Nikes. I thought, what do I do? What do I do? So I texted my daddy, texted my boyfriend, texted my best friend, all the same text. I said, what do I do? Do I dare flush it again? What do I do? And all of them said, get a plunger. Jason said, run. <laughs> I said, I can't run because if I do, they're going to know it was me. I'm the only one who snuck out of the meeting to go potty. So I stood there pacing in the small bathroom, praying to Jesus. Please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please don't let this overflow. Because then my poop's going to be floating all on the floor out into the hallway beside the boardroom. So after they were all three texting me, go get a plunger, go get maintenance. Jason said, run. I said, I can't do any of those. I don't have a plunger and I am for sure not going to get maintenance so he can come check out my poop floating at the top of the commode. So I thought, I'm just going to flush it. And they were all three like, do not flush it again. Do not. And all of my training in this area said the same. Do not flush the commode. But I could not leave. I flushed it again and waited with bated breath. And everything went down. I was like, oh, sweet Lord. Thank you. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Over and over again. I walked back into the meeting, no one the wiser. Just when I was getting pretty cocky about the whole thing and laughing about the story with my kindergarten friends, I had to poop again after lunch because, once again, that's what happens when I eat. <sighs> I went to, this time, a student bathroom that had like, you know, five or six stalls. I wasn't the only one who left the meeting, so I thought, this is going to be okay. We're all good. I go to the last stall so I can have my privacy because I can't poop if somebody's in the bathroom with me. I get all my business done, press the handle. What happens again? That's right, friends. It all floats to the top again. I mean, does this school not have a good sewage system? I don't know. But once again, I was stuck up shit creek, pardon my French, without a freaking plunger. So I texted him again and said, happened again. I mean, this guy mad at me. Was I not a good girl today? I was a good girl. Seven prayers. Wore the correct dress code. Was a sweet girl to people who I didn't really care for every now and then. And still, two episodes of floating poop in a strange place that I didn't want to have floating poop in. So I stood there. Hmm, 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 hmm. What do I do? I sent the same text. And he said once again, don't flush. I flushed again. I flushed five times. Finally, it all went down the way the Lord meant for it to go, and that is away from me and away from the floor and away from prying eyes. <sighs> Can you believe that? In two days, I had the most ridiculous things happen to me. And I know here in the South we say bad things come in threes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get on my pajamas and sit my tail in that chair and watch another round of Gilmore Girls with the grilled cheese. That's all I can say. That's all I have enough nerve to do because tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know. Pray for me.